Hey guys, Jason here. I want to share with you from God's Word today, hopefully bring some encouragement to you. I've been reading the story of David, one of my favorite stories in the Old Testament, and more specifically been reading the account of David and Goliath, where the young boy, the shepherd boy David, kills the giant Philistine, Goliath, with a sling and a stone, takes Goliath's sword, cuts off his head, and is victorious. When the whole army was afraid of Goliath, David rose up with authority and power of the Lord in him and takes the giant down. Now, that's a great story of victory. We all love that story if we know it. But uh, it wasn't all victorious living in David's life because shortly thereafter, David has to flee for his life. He's been told he'd be the next king of Israel. But the current king, Saul, is still on the throne, and Saul becomes insanely jealous of David's popularity, of the promise on David's life, and tries to kill David, throws a spear at him, pins, tries to pin him against the wall, uh, and David has to flee for his life, and Saul pursues him, tries to kill him. David leaves in such haste that he has no provisions, no food, no weapons, and he comes to the priest, uh, a priest along his journey, and he seeks some help. And I want to read to you today from 1 Samuel 21 verses 8 and 9. Then David said to Ahimelech, Then have you not here a spear or sword at hand? For I have brought neither my sword nor my weapons with me, because the king's business required haste. Uh, that's not entirely true. I mean, there was haste required, but I think David was trying not to stir up trouble with Ahimelech, so he told him that. And the priest said, The sword of Goliath the Philistine, whom you struck down in the valley of Elah, behold, it is here wrapped in a cloth behind the ephod. If you will take that, Take it, for there is none but that here. And David said, There is none like that. Give it to me. This is awesome, awesome stuff from the story of David. And it really struck me when reading it that, you know, uh, David's life wasn't all, all victory. David was going through a very, very dark time. In fact, it had probably been a long time since David had felt victorious, that he had felt like he was on top of things. Uh, he was really struggling and literally running for his life. And reading that verse today, it really stood out to me that often our past victories hold provisions for today. Often our past victories contain or hold the provisions we need for today. It had been a long time since David had felt victorious, but just when he needed provisions, just when he needed help from the Lord, he comes across the sword of his fallen enemy, the sword of Goliath. It's just what he needed in that moment. God provided it. Let me tell you, everybody, you might be going through a tough time right now. A lot of us are. We've got the COVID pandemic. We've got financial struggles. We've got all kinds of crazy things going around in the world. And maybe you're suffering right now and going through a very difficult time. Maybe it's been a long time since you felt victorious. Maybe it's been a long time since you've defeated or felt like you've defeated the enemy. But I've got good news for you today. The same God that gave you that victory in your past, the same God that was strong and mighty with you at that time is still with you. And he is still victorious, and he still has provision. In fact, he may have already laid the foundation for the provision that you need now. So take heart. God is with you. God is strong. And you never know. He might have exactly what you need just around the corner. So be encouraged today. Be blessed today. And hang in there. God's got you. You're going to have another victory just right around the corner.